do we use this um this because the the method is chat gpt yeah like how do we yeah. use it to get our perfect supporting statement you need to know how to ask the question if you know how to ask the question you have the perfect answer hi guys mm. welcome back to my youtube channel and i came here today as usual you know with a new person a new face a fresh face um I'm here today with the chief meat husband. I'm sure most of you must have seen him before somewhere, somehow. And, you know, you'd be surprised that I'm able to fish him out to come to my channel. <laughs> um, welcome, sir. Um, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so um, he's going to be putting us through um, how to, you know, get the perfect supporting statement. Like, get a supporting statement so quick, so fast with his mentor that is going to be explaining to us and also use this to apply for, you know, NMC applications as well, do NMC applications. Um, yeah. And if you have any questions, you can drop in the comment section. And before we continue, please, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so. And um, yeah. So um, Chief Me Dosban, could you introduce yourself? So my name is Wahab Oluwafemi Steven and they call me the Chief Me Dosban. I'm a professional photographer. Okay. Because yeah, most people don't know that um, having that uh, uh, that name, Chief Middles Band, most people used to ask me. Oh no, most people don't ask. They'll just um, like, okay, uh, are you a nurse? Are you a midwife? Which was actually the question you started with. That was, that was that was I had to come to you. Like, which hospital are you working as a midwife? <laughs> Yeah, so you, you ask that question. So I, I, you, you know, the the conversation. I had to prolong the conversation because mm -hmm. I actually want to know what you had in mind to so mm -hmm. actually chat me up. And when you got, okay, are you a nurse? Are you a midwife? I said no, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a midwife. But uh, <laughs> by proxy, I would say because my wife is a midwife. As an extension, yeah. as an extension, <laughs> yes, genetically <laughs> as an extension. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, why do they call you mid husband? Um, because some of us want to know, like, you know, why did they give you that? Because the name is actually so fascinating and it draws people to you, like, draws attention. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how that name came about, uh, I'm a media person and right from time I'm into media and stuff like that. So, uh, when my wife decided to do, uh, um, she's doing an um. NHS applications and the like. So I was the one that was helping her do the applications. Yes, I, I actually did not. I've always heard that people are going to the UK as a nurse or as midwife. Yeah. I tend to find questions. There was no readily available answer to my yeah. question. Yes, I yeah. didn't put that time to look at it up until a friend now she told me that, oh, her friend is going to the UK. And I was like, okay, how did it happen? And I told her, okay, put me to, okay, now let me listen to you now mm -hmm. because for me i've i've promised myself and i've promised her that i'm going to do the best for her yeah. to, be, to go to the best level yeah wherever she wants to be and mm, that's so sweet like okay you have to do your nmc registration you have to do this mm -hmm. you have to do that and i was like okay okay now you know what put me to all the telegram channel you are in whatsapp channel whatsapp group and everything so like but i'm not a nurse i'm not a midwife how do i how do i juggle it i say don't worry i'm the type that want to know the why i will always ask those questions so i was in those group i was behind the scene just listening see how people go through the application and then that was when i started the application submitting of our documents and all this stuff mm -hmm. so we got looking for um what they call it uh vacancy and all that and it wasn't coming for so i started asking questions and going to every group they don't answer my questions the way i want to be answered. They, People don't, just yeah, talk, they don't always answer. just drop one line answers and just move on and you tend to ask the person what's next the person would feel like okay this person this person should go and look for more answers so yeah then yeah. i started googling myself i started going out check online check for stuff nmc different youtube channel and just i read in between the lines i don't just listen and just keep quiet i go in between the lines and see okay why and uh yes with the red list whole thing happening then i still keep applying every night i was just like i must do an application 
And one setting, I think that the, the NHS made a mistake. One NHS made a mistake. I'll mention them of the NHS. They sent an email to like 10 different nurses, uh, midwife from, um, I think from Africa. Yeah. And all their emails were there. All the emails were there. So what I did was I picked those emails and I I sent a, a separate email to all of them. I said, see, since we are, uh, we are having interview with the same NHS, why not we have a WhatsApp group? <laughs> <laughs> why not we have a WhatsApp group where we can just communicate yeah. and do all stuff within ourselves and all that? Okay, everybody was like, okay, okay, ah, good idea, good idea. So now the shocker now was that you were supposed to see 10 people in that group, but now there were not 11 people in that group. <laughs> so nobody asked why. Why? Everybody like, was just, everybody were just, who is this person? But funny enough, they can't even suspect me because mm -hmm. I was the one in the forefront of the whole community. <laughs> That's organizing, I was the one the <laughs> organizing the whole thing, giving ideas, what to do, and the likes. So they didn't, they didn't ask. So it was one person that I chatted me behind the scene. Oh, I want to do this. Uh, what stage are you on, on your application? And I gave the person the shocker. I said, I'm not a nurse. I'm not a no. midwife. So the person was like, so who are you? I said, I'm just a normal guy. Okay, my wife is actually in the group. I was the one. I said, but the way you answer those questions yes. and all that. So the person I went back to the group. And I said, ah, eh, can you guys believe that this person I've been chatting with is a guy? Mm -hmm. No, a midwife. Like, okay. So they were all laughing like, oh, thank you very much sir, for all you do for us and yeah. all that and all that. From then people started asking questions. I will attend to it. And one day I just came here and said, oh, reporting for duty. And I answered the question. Some of them, ah, thank you. I said, now you guys have to give me a chief TNC title. So somebody <laughs> just echoed. <laughs> I said, no, you guys have to make a chief title. So someone just echo. I said, oh, the chief middle's band. Wow. So one person said, the chief middle's band, and that was it. And that was how wow. the name came about. And wow. anybody who wants to ask me a question, I would just, once you chat me up, oh, my name is, I'm the chief middle's band. My name is the chief <laughs> so That name was just. It actually going, it, it sticks. And thank you to that person. <laughs> so that name was just going around and that's when yes all those information i had yeah. and i discovered that instead of me just keeping them to myself i thought for me i thought when my wife actually go to the uk i would actually rest because during those process she had not gotten the job i was always on my system trying to do one yeah. thing one or two but when she actually left i think that's when i now i'm now more engrossed with the old thing that mm. I feel that I just want to help the next person. Yeah, I don't want to help yeah. It's like that's when it's, now it's instead of yes, instead of me now uh sticking to myself alone, I had to create like a YouTube page mm. and just keep those information. And instead of having to answer Mr. A or Mrs. A mm -hmm. and B every now and then, <laughs> I tend to just put it straight up mm. and put it there. But still yet, people still want to still ask me questions, questions yeah. I've answered before. They still want to ask those questions. And but I just feel I will just do my best to 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 get the job done and yeah. also have time for myself to do my own exactly. thing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is so interesting. And I'm so grateful for that first thing. Like to that first thing, because the name actually kind of it's the best name I would say, and it's a it's it's the best name. Yeah, you could have been answering any other name for now yeah. <laughs> with us. Yeah, yeah. And sure. we're grateful to have you in that means because you've been helping a lot of people to make their applications, you know, easier, smoother, and you know, faster, and every other thing. And we're really grateful to you for making that sacrifice, even after helping your wife. You decided yeah, to go yeah. further and you know help the other person as well. We're we're really grateful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. All right. Um, so um going to the question of the day, like the main question of the day, how do we use this? Because the, the mentor is chat GPT, yeah. Like, how do we yeah. use it to get our perfect supporting statement? Because that's the reason for this video, you know, using it to make a good supporting statement, make it easier, make it faster, make it more catchy for you know employers to okay, say this is very good, like. Okay, so um, due to my research, I've gone to most of these NHS, yeah, 
their person specification, they are almost the same thing. The only issue now is that they use different words. Uh, you have to be uh, patient centered. You have to yeah. be uh, compassionate. Mm -hmm. You have like all these things are the same thing. Governance, uh, infection control. What else again? What other one is there? Like if you look at if you combine mm -hmm. three. Yeah. person specification for different NHS. Four, combined four, put it, them down and look at them. They are almost the same thing. I see people writing different supporting statements for different NHS. That is a problem. Why not just sit down, do a do a thorough work, combine all these things together in one supporting statement, and you have a simple paragraph within that application, within that supporting statement, where you can just change that line you know if you're applying for the next nhs you just change only that part and that mm -hmm. part might just be oh please write about why i want why i want to work for the nhs yeah. oh, the reason i want to work for this nhs because their trust value resonates with mine and all that and uh i put the uh trust value by doing this this and this that makes life easy because the rejection alone is enough it's not enough but now having to do every every application you are doing different supporting statements it's, yeah, it's stressful it's, it's stressful because if you're doing 20 applications a day you're going to have you to doing different, you have, you have to do that that over and over again yeah. so now that's why the chat gpt that's how the chat gpt is coming to play chat gpt you can you can ask any question you can anything at all you want to ask about but you just need to know how to ask the question if you know how to ask the question you have the perfect answer now you pick a supporting state, uh, a person's um, specification, and they write, oh, this person needs to be this. You need to be compassionate. You need to be uh, patient-centered. You need to have worked in social place and social mm -hmm. place. Now you pick it. Oh, please, write about, write a paragraph for me of how I have portrayed the following below. The beginning. In every um, application, the rights there. Oh, we are looking for a position for a compassionate nurse, mm -hmm. uh, patient-centered, and the likes. Now you now tell ChatGPT, please write the beginning paragraph of my supporting statements. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can go ahead and say, please write a supporting statement for me. But if you write anything for you, if you just okay. summarize anything for you. Exactly. But now you are not doing this paragraph by paragraph mm -hmm. specifically write the beginning paragraph for me of why uh, uh for my nhs supporting statements using this the following words i'm compassionate i'm patient centered now you now put like extra information your own extra information which you have written before you know normally we would have written our mm -hmm. own before mm -hmm. somewhere and all mm -hmm. that you just pick it please let me edit. You can even say, please let me edit the following, the below. Mm -hmm. Putting this into consideration, I'm patient centered, I am uh, compassionate, I'm enthusiastic. Make it compelling and elaborate. It will write that paragraph for you. Yeah. You copy that paragraph, you paste it on Microsoft Word. You have written the first paragraph. Yeah. Second paragraph, you pick it up again in uh, the body they'll say this person should be able to do uh, a b and c you pick it say please write another paragraph for me why i'm able to do a b and c all mm -hmm. those informations are there you just put it there chat gpt would help you summarize all these things and write another paragraph for you you copy and paste the third paragraph, okay, write about why I want to work for uh, this NHS. You put the name of the NHS. And the reasons are, if you go back on about this job on every application, there are some bragging rights this NHS have. They'll put, oh, we are the best in the West. We are, uh, we yeah. take care of our staff. We yeah. do this, we do that, all those stuff. You just pick those words. Please write about why I want to work for the NHS, for this name of the NHS, because they are the best in this. They are the best acute center. Uh, uh, they, they take care of their staff for career development. And also write that 
I portray their um, their trust values resonate with mine, which are you not pick the trust value, you put it there, which are compassionate, uh, teamwork, and all those all those stuff they write, mm -hmm. and also write a scenario where I portray one of the trust values. Mm -hmm. So that ChatGPT will elaborate all these things for you. Give a scenario how you portray one of the trust value. If you say put a scenario where I portray two of the trust value, it will just pick any two and analyze it for you. And boom, yeah, yeah okay, you copy that and paste. That's how you pick what? them one after the other. After and the there's, other, another, yeah. there's another typical word now that you need to put into consideration. Now you mm. know you only have 1,500 words to write. It shouldn't be more than 1,500 words. Yes. So at that point, all you need to do, all you need to do now is that if you ask such broad questions, ChatGPT will just give you long grammar. <laughs> it will give you, so you now have, you will not be the one that will start adjusting, adjusting. So mm -hmm. to make life easy for you, you just put, write a paragraph of why I want to work for this and write a short paragraph. That word short makes it shorter. Mm -hmm. It will summarize it and make it shorter. So that mm -hmm. word, that you start streamlining everything till the end. The end might now be oh, write uh, write another write the ending paragraph of my supporting statement that mm -hmm. I have done. I've written my IELTS, I've passed. I've written my CBT, I've passed, and I look forward to working with the NHS. And I will require a tier two visa to work in the UK. It will help you analyze this thing, and then you have your full supporting statement. Wow. Now, if you have written this now, picking from different NHS now, all you just have to do now is that only that paragraph where you wrote about why you want to work for that NHS, that's what you keep changing every yeah, now and every then. Every now and then, yeah. So you don't need to change yeah. everything starting yeah. afresh again. That's that's the best way to me. That's yeah. the best way to go about wow. it. Yeah. yeah. So um, they, I'm just guessing this thing is like a Siri or should I say Alexa? <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> You send it message to and it goes and do, does it for you and all of that. That's really interesting. need to put this out also. There's a part where it can also make mistakes. It can make mistakes in the sense that you can ask some questions and it will give you something different. So that's where the human mind comes into play. You ask yeah. the question, it's not answering for you. You you see that this is not what you require. Or sometimes mm -hmm. it might be giving you analysis. Oh, as a nurse, you should be able to do this, this, and this. At that point, you have to stop it. You stop mm -hmm. the analysis and say, write the above as the nurse or write the above as the midwife. Then it will now say, oh, it will not you give you that analysis. I see yeah. you are the one writing it. So in order yeah. for you not to be the one changing the tenses again, yeah. yes, it has given you an analysis where you can see use, but makes life easy for yourself and just say, write the above as the nurse. And it will answer it will answer your question for you. So you have you have different places where you can put these keywords, you know, nursing, or you just put it as a you know a short sentence. It's drop it like is is more like uh you know, you know, as your WhatsApp is same yes. way you use your WhatsApp. That's that part where you are asked where you where you can type to the next person. That's what oh, it is. If you check if you oh, see the um yeah. interface. Yeah, there's also another way. Okay, there are sometimes you can also use it to answer your criteria questions. Mm. You can also use it to answer your criteria question. They ask you, okay, write about how uh how do you portray the following criteria below. Now you, you just pick it. Please mm. write about how I portray the following criteria below as a nurse or as a midwife. If you don't put specifics. If you just write about how I portray this criteria below, it will just answer the way yeah. it understands. Yeah. But once you put as a nurse or as a yeah. carpenter, it yeah. will attend to it as a carpenter. Yeah. So you have to be specific. So at that point, you might start saying, oh, as a nurse, you should portray this, you should portray that. You say, no, you stop it. Mm -hmm. And say, answer the above as this the one. nurse or as the midwife, and it will give you your answer specifically. Exactly. So you can also even use it to summarize. Oh you can summarize. You can you can write like, let's say they say okay, this word should be like two fifty words, and you feel instead of you to start removing, you don't know what you need to remove. You just pick it, it up, put it there. Please 
summarize it below into 250 words and it will summarize it for you oh my god this you is amazing even pick, you can even pick someone supporting statement that the person has written before and, edit. and say rephrase not even edit you say rephrase it for me and rephrase it below rephrase it below and rephrase it below and give it the same meaning you rephrase it but give it the same meaning so this one is not yes so this one is not you uh using uh um, programming language it's the normal yeah. words we, we talk same way yeah. we are talking yeah. we have this now oh i don't want you to go there okay go here now mm -hmm. and when you go there you come to the next point that's mm -hmm. how so as far as you can communicate with your friend you can use chat gpt so you don't need yeah. any programming language is it and so it's it. like it makes it you know easier for you especially when you don't know what to type because actually we have these experiences we have so many experience but we don't know how to put it to paper because we don't want to over talk and we don't want to talk less we are just confused like how do i put this in sentences and all of now that? so, now that's that's actually the problem now you are writing a part they say okay right are you portray the following below as a registered nurse now ChatGPT doesn't know Yes, it's as I, an idea of what a registered nurse mm -hmm. should be like, mm -hmm. qualities of the registered nurse. But now, instead of you to just leave it to it to just analyze anything, yeah. just tell it, okay, uh, please write about how I portray the following criteria below. Yeah. As a registered nurse, you yeah. put an iPhone and continue. I'm a registered nurse with Ni in Nigeria. I've registered with the NMC and yeah. I've done my, uh, I have like eight years experience. Yeah. And you put all those information i've worked in this department i've worked in mm -hmm. that department mm -hmm. those information if he doesn't know mm -hmm. so now you put those informations and See. say this this and this and this and at that point it will now say okay you have given me information it will now work on those to information. Work with. yeah because if you don't Even, give it uh, information to work it's going to do anything <laughs> That's why sometimes, even before you write your supporting statements you can copy your cv that you have written by yourself uh -huh. copy Put it in okay. that same place you are typing just copy everything and paste it there and it will summarize your cv for you and you now ask you what do you want me to do for you today so it's now up to you now say with the above cv write about how i portray the following criteria below a registered okay. nurse this this and this and job is done yes, we don't get another alessio alessis <laughs> alessis play some music for me you mean, I just, uh, people, people don't want to ask the why yeah even there people doesn't don't want to ask the why that's yeah. that's one of the issues with with it yeah really nice so we'll be dropping the yes, link to yes. the chat gpt under the description of this video um almost all these applications they are not being looked at by people yeah i don't know if, you, if you're ahead of the ACS application tracking system is a machine that would go through these applications so they are what these machines are looking out for okay there yeah, was a machine are looking out for so okay. at that spot all you need to do now is that you can see see write the duties and responsibilities of a oh. nurse okay. make it elaborate and compelling yeah. and put your answer in bullet points yeah duties and responsibility of a nurse yeah. make it compelling and elaborate put your answer in bullet points it will give you like 10 duties and responsibilities yeah. if you are not okay with that you can see type continue if you type continue it will give you more if you type continue it will give you more so it's now you that will not pick it and say okay i think i like this one because now yeah. you know what he's talking about there but yeah. it's just that you don't know how to put the words now it has helped you to put the words you just pick it and adjust which you want to come forward which you want to come below so that depends on you so any your criteria questions you can answer your criteria questions and there are people that uh that are linked up with me there are sometimes they'll call me and say hey, there's this uh criteria question how do i answer it i already give them a template which mm -hmm. i shared with them please write about how i portray the below criteria as a staff nurse yeah you copy the criteria from the questions and put it in the middle below there's another uh write-up i put there that i said um you do not need to put this uh but write a scenario where i portray any mm -hmm. of them mm -hmm. that's a template me i like i like getting things done easily easily yeah you don't need to, you don't need to i say we worked 
we work smartly. You don't work hard anymore. Exactly. No, no time for hard working. Smartly and, and you get the job done. So with that, they are good to go and they answer their question. It makes life easy at the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. Yep. So this is for you know your the job description, the person's education and criteria. Person's education, no criteria questions. Yeah, sure. Because the most important thing in your application is from your duties and responsibilities yes. to your supporting statement and the further yes. questions. Yes. The rest, even your uh, reference, you can change it at any time. Mm -hmm. You can change your reference, but the most important mm -hmm. is it's, from it's even, those things. even with even with your trainings, even with your Trainings also, I also advise people to go for trainings. So let me just let me just put that there's some nurses you are applying for jobs and you have not done any training at all. The only one you did was the one you did in your um, home country. Yeah. And you want to I you want to apply for jobs. How 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 do you stay competitive? There are free courses online on Allison on Florence yeah. Academy, go your application and make it make it better. So people keep complaining, oh. Red list, red list, red list. For me, anybody asking that question, there's nothing like the red list because I have people. I mm -hmm. have people who are making it day in, day out. So anybody mm -hmm. comes up and says, oh, mm -hmm. red, list. red list has been there since 2020. So not now, someone will this now want to. Forever, yeah. They just, yeah. they just had to pay some people and they just, they just raised it up again and people started shivering. Oh, red list. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much yeah. for that. Um, we'll drop the link to the chat GPT on the under the description of this video. So go check it out, you know. Do that your application for those that always, you know, struggle with forming a good supporting statement. Because I get a lot of people come to me like help me to read my support statement, help me to type this and help me to do this and that. So you can just make this, you know, make work easier for you. Just sit down in one place do it step by step and you know you're good to go you get a perfect one and you can always use it to apply for jobs as the time goes by and also there are some questions like we just discussed about you know there are questions that are kind of difficult for you when you're applying for those jobs like they'll be asking you um how are you this how are you this that's the criteria questions we just talked about and on yeah. that each of the job applications so you can use this chat GPT as well to you know answer those questions and put it in the ways that you want it to be like it will give you the perfect words you want it to be in. and if you're not happy with it you change it if you're not happy if you feel okay this is not what i want this is not what i am you change it as well and you know keep doing that and get to the perfect it's just like our analysis make it work easier for us so try use it guys try it out and yeah. you know um yeah um so can you give us um like some tips because you're like the father of nurses and midwives now <laughs> maybe give us some tips um you may mention of the fact that we should try and do more trainings which is one tip yeah. i would say like tips on how to you know get through this process because it's a really difficult process for some of us it's so difficult it gets frustrating sometimes okay so uh i think giving tips is I think it's always everything I do every now and then. I always talk about it and mm -hmm. I advise people, anybody you see doing YouTube or doing stuff, don't just watch the video, read in between the lines. Yeah. Go yeah. above, go ahead by yourself and do your trainings and do yeah. your own research. Exactly. Now, I can I can break down the application process in like in three, four minutes. Now, first thing first is, yes, your name and all that, which is generic the uh, criminal offense side which is always no you click your no next part is your training make sure your trainings are well aligned aligning your training in the sense that not um uh, okay you did the training in 2018 you now put it yeah. first no yeah. your training should start from the present one you have done to the, past. the present training you have done which is 2023 to mm -hmm the lowest and look out for training in every of these applications they are always uh they are always criterias oh the person should have this training oh the person should have uh coaching and mentoring stuff should be able to coach and mentor that's a point that you should go and do a course on coaching and mentoring mm -hmm. yes you can coach you can mentor based on you have done it for you in your profession for like four or five years but also these people want to see certification that you have done this this is the time for you to go ahead to go and do those trainings pick it up and add and now the good thing now is that 
you mustn't have the certificate readily available. You can even put in view. Even the ones you are still working on, you can just put it there that you are, that you are done with it because even most mm -hmm. of these trainings are, mm -hmm. you'll be done in like 30, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. so why do you want to put yourself in? So also, the way most people that type with phones, do the applications with phone, you have to check your applications again because most of the things you have written, they always go like, you won't know if in your mind you have written it. That's why I did a video on where you can where you can do uh your application with your phone you can just change your phone to uh windows um windows mode desktop mode and you can see everything as if you are looking at your computer and you do your application so those people also need to look out for those things everything some people put the application in capital letters your trainings you put in a capital letter is a no no you have to make sure if you are if you are putting okay let's say for your clamps here the P, the P should be in capital, the E should be in small letter. Not mm -hmm. putting it, everything should just look well aligned because there's a part. Why is it people don't read in between the line? There was somewhere I read in an application that said your application needs to be well aligned. Mm -hmm. But in the case of where we see that everybody's application is well aligned, we we'll just do random picking, which means the computer has already done its own streamlining, throwing away like 75% of the application, leaving 25%. Mm -hmm that are well and okay now they will not look at it okay everybody's well aligned okay they'll do random picking that you're getting you're getting unfortunate emails is actually not because you didn't do well but just because a lot of things can just happen along the line mm -hmm. and maybe at that point they did random selections yeah. and all that and you didn't you didn't make it that's where i also tell people don't forget the god factor put prayers into what you're doing mm -hmm. yes it's good so, so all those things what else again so i i line those trainings accordingly your duties and responsibilities some people will put that they are done with work there's a part are you still working uh from when to when if you know you are still working you don't need to put anything there just leave it blank exactly the the name of your hospital put it in full okay. don't put it, don't put it in a um, small letter do the same thing. Yeah. abbreviation don't put abbreviation put it in full form leave it there the dates you are working put it there your duties and responsibilities make them elaborate mm. there are some keywords in those applications make them vi make them in your in those duties and responsibilities there's a way you see them when you talk about the application you see those words uh i'm, I'm trying to remember a word uh person centered all those things mm -hmm. include them in your application because these are the words the computer look out for Okay. If you can yeah. do that, your um, further questions now you can use Chat GPT mm -hmm. to do your further questions. Your supporting statement now you can use Chat GPT to do your supporting statements. Yes, you have your own experience. Use Chat GPT to your advantage. To you don't know how to put those words now. Yeah. Chat GPT will help you arrange those words and make them okay yeah. for you. Yeah. You are good to go. Your reference that's by the side. That one you can change that one anytime, any day, and. <laughs> The last one is you have to keep applying. Yeah. You have to keep applying. If you don't apply, nothing would come forth. That's true. There was a lady that was that was in link with me. I know she'll be watching this video. I know she's going to laugh now. <laughs> and uh, she was she was applying, and for one month, nothing was coming forth. One month, and she would say, hey, it's not coming forth to what do I do now? I told her, I said, see, just keep applying. So there was a day I saw an application and I sent it to her. She she opened up. That's why I said you should also look out for people you can communicate with. Yeah. Our people you can talk with, our friends that you guys are in the same mm -hmm. boat together, you mm -hmm. can encourage each other and all that. If she did not open up, she might not have been in this position now. So she yeah. opened up and said she's tired of applying and she's not doing it again. And it's not coming up. I say and see, just calm down. Okay, what's it? That application, okay, let me do it for you. So I did the applications for her. Two weeks later, she was called for an interview. Wow. And she was like, she sent me a message. I said, ah, thank you. In my down moment, this application you did for me, they just yeah. called me for an interview. I said, congratulations. What if I tell you, as I speak, we see her the conversation last night. She had like three to four interviews thank now. Yeah. So yeah. now imagine she has given up. Mm hmm Nothing no, no, no. Well, she hadn't spoken with you at she all. She hadn't spoken with me at all. She will still be in that down moment. So find people yeah. where you can communicate with. Yes, it's not easy. 
if you watch my video, I did uh, dealing with anxiety. Yeah. With this application and all that, you need yeah. to have people you talk to, people you communicate with, and share ideas. Yeah. And and get things done. So if you think of giving up now, yeah. don't be like that one person that in ten years time you say, oh, if I had passed, if I had gotten yeah. a job in, I would have been in this position now. Don't be like that one person. Do it now. It's a today thing. Do it now and look back and say yes. You actually did it against all order and, mm -hmm. and that's it thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> okay guys you've heard this and chief me husband that's his um youtube name he has a youtube account he has a youtube channel he has amazing videos as well like i went through it the other day and you know i was forced and prompted to invite him to my channel as well to kind of bring some of those there down here so you can go back go to go to his youtube channel check it out subscribe to his channel but don't go without subscribing to this channel first you just have to click the button just click it's free of chat click it and turn on the notification bell and you know for you to receive more of this because more are going to be coming soon and you know go to his channel as well give him a subscribe and I can't wait to see you guys smash the applications if you have any questions if you feel you want to talk to any of us you're very free to reach out um Maybe they are free to reach out to you. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. No, my I'm always I'm always and I always check my I check my DMs like I don't know how to keep DMs like for long. I will just check it. The one I can attend to, I attend to it. The one I can't okay. the video, if there's a video I've done on it, I'll just for the video. There was somebody that called me and say, hey, please, can you explain these things to me? I said, Come on, don't this video. If I explain just it, I'm I'm share the link. The video. That's what I do as well. Go and watch it, read in between the lines and get it done. That's it. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so yes. much. And so You're you've welcome. heard it, guys. Please subscribe, turn on notification. You know, watch our videos. Watch his videos. Go over there. You know, there are so many other videos. Watch it and you know, get yourself acquainted with the whole process. And apply the advice that has been given. Apply the whole process. Go to the description of this video. You're going to see the link to the chat GPT, and you know, you can use it to start at your supporting statement and job application thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking around up to this very point and thank you chief husband our chief mid husband our daddy <laughs> all right okay um, okay you're welcome have yeah, a great bye. day bye are you too mm -hmm.